Welcome back. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the difference between the Mason carry-all bag and the Dreamer handbag. The Dreamer that I have, the details as far as the measurements of the head, handbag goes, this here is a 7 inch strap and with the crossbody strap it's 21. So the length of the handbag is 13.5, the height is 7.5, and the width is 4.5. And, and in the, with the mason, the handle drop is 4.5, the crossbody strap is 21.5 from shoulder to the crossbody wearer, the length of the bag is 15, the height is 8 and 3 quarters, and the width is three and one quarter. So, based on that, this actually is showing that it's larger in width, but it doesn't really appear to be that way. This one seems to be wider than this one. And then the length of the bag would be about one and a half inches longer on the mason. And then the height of the bag is showing almost four inches taller. It doesn't, as you can see, it just kind of shows that much of a difference. So. doesn't appear to be <clears throat> that much taller. However, you could definitely fit more things into this bag because of the three compart. One, two, three, four. Actually, if you undo this again, I that would be four. As to where this one is, you just have your large compartment with your two magnetic closures. This one is really nice because on the inside they kept, even though it's not leather, it's kind of it's a, like a cloth liner, they kept it the same, the same color, the black, so I really like that. And then the same thing here, it's not leather on the inside, it's um, a liner. But this one really smells like leather, and I like the little hang tag details that they have as well. <clears throat> With the mason, we have these are leather for sure on all three of those compartments. The inside of this though, I kind of wish they would have kept that blue or black. <clears throat> I don't really care for that. It kind of looks cheap in comparison to the rest of the bag. And the difference in the crossbody straps are this one has the, the Dreamer has the infinity crossbody. As to where the Mason does not. I think what would have been really cool about this is if they would have put a little bit of snake skin detail in this, like even if it was just on the ending here. <clears throat> that would have kind of made it pop a little bit more. Um, I don't really care for the bottom little clips that they have here because it's causing a lot of pucker, if you could see. 
where they put them, but the top one obviously is not doing that. But it's doing that on all sides. Not this one is bad though. This one doesn't, even though it's a 1941 collection, it doesn't really smell like leather like this one does. This one is just a more viable bag. This one is a lot more constructed, stiffer <clears throat> of a bag. And like I showed you before, we can fit a lot more in this one. In the dreamer but I do have a smaller dreamer the dreamer comes in three different sizes so if I purchased another dreamer I think I would go to the middle size because once I got these things in here nothing else really fits so I have two cosmetics bags my wallet my mirror keys and then in this side compartment here is where I would put headphones Tylenol and I'd only be able to fit this hand cream I wouldn't be able to put this one in and then I would try to squeeze this in here And then put my cell phone on the inside. So that's what that looks like all compacted in there. I mean, it all fits. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to close it though because of my cell phone. No, because it kind of pops up there as you can see so I would have to maybe possibly put this in here on the side and then close it close like that and it all fits and it all fits in there nicely and things aren't rolling around loosely in the bag either so it it just seems like everything would be easy to just pull out. So now let's take everything out of here and put it in this one. because it has the, to get them out, it's the newer cars where they just, you know, sense it. As soon as you walk up to the door, it opens. And then it's just push start, so I just have to have the key fob on me. And I could also put this in here. So far, that's what I have in there, and it could fit a lot more. So, let's go ahead and stick more things. So, I would do, I would probably put a hand sanitizer and a nail file in here as well. perfume. Although I think I'm going to have to get another makeup case to put these in. Some odd toys. And then my phone I would either, I think I would have to stick it in here. Yep. So 
bad ways to handle the purple sun right now. I can just tell. <clears throat> so, that's everything. And then you still have two compartments in the front. That you could put items in as well. There's one in the back. Like I said, this bag, very heavy. And this bag is just so light. Even when you add things to it, it's still rather light. So, I guess it would just depend on what kind of a handbag you would like. If you would like the more constructed one, this one, this bag kind of reminds me of, um, you know, back in the 50s or 60s, like something Jackie Kennedy would wear, like with a business suit. And this one just, it's just like a, even though it is kind of dressy, it's something that, it's kind of edgy too, so you could dress it up, dress it down, you could really wear it with anything. I wear this one, I kind of feel almost like you have to be dressed up to wear it. I don't know, maybe later on I'll try it on with a pair of jeans and just a t-shirt just to see how, if you can actually pull it off without having to have, you know, a dressy shirt like this on. So that's my comparisons. This is a much larger bag and I believe they're, the regular price of this one was $5.50. And this one was six ninety five. So price comparison, I think they're. I'm not really sure if. I think this price comparison, this one should have been around five ninety five. Five fifty to five ninety five, not six ninety five. I don't feel like it has that many details to justify that price tag. Um, they do have one that has more of this kind of detail on it up here, black and white, and those are $100 more, so <clears throat> that one, the black one looked really cool on mine, but I don't know if I would, after seeing this one, I would assume that it would be a lot of puckering up in here because it's that metal detail on it. And then this bag here, I purchased on sale, so I got it for $330, so I feel like for $330, it's, it's, that's a good quality bag, but I don't think it's worth $595, the, or $550, the regular price. This one I still feel like at four hundred eighty-five dollars, it's still too much money. I feel like four hundred would be a better price because the my Coopers that I purchased were like two hundred fifty dollars, and it's just a much a much bigger bag, and it has all the leather detail except for this one inside it has the cloth. But with the Coopers, you really don't. And ha I mean, it has the suede inside. With the Coopers, you don't really have to use that middle compartment because the two larger ones are sufficient enough for all your stuff. But I'm not sure if this is going to be a good seller for Coach, but I know that the Dreamers definitely are good sellers and they're very rarely on sale. I definitely think the Dreamers with the snakeskin detail would definitely be worth it more so than this this bag. So based on that, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep this bag or not, but I'm really happy with my with my Dreamer and I actually use this a lot. I use that and my 
play Coopers a lot lately. I'm kind of back into those bags instead of the crossbody bags, but like so here's more of a detail up close. There's the tag. On the bottom. And I'll show you the, the dreamer up close. Well, I hope you liked today's comparison video. Enjoy the rest of your day.